What to do with all these children, the big question now. And in his interview with the Attorney General, Pierre Thomas pressed Holder for a response to critics who charge he's not enforcing our immigration laws. Yes, the immigration laws are being enforced, though we are faced with an extraordinary situation where thousands of people, uh, young people especially, uh, are fleeing Central America for economic reasons to get away from um, really uh, endemic violence in, in, in their, their countries. The president has put together a proposal to uh, Congress asking for almost $4 billion. We are surging immigration judges um, to the border to process um, all of these people. But can you see where the critics are coming from when you see buses of people being brought inland after they came here illegally? Well, let me just say this. Our immigration laws are broken. It's why we need comprehensive immigration reform. Now, on the other side, you have critics of the administration saying you've deported way too many people. And the ACLU just filed a lawsuit talking about the fact that these children really aren't getting due process. We're certainly going to get criticized from both sides. But what we're certainly also going to do is make sure that we follow the law. And let's get more on this now from the Republican chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, Congressman Robert Goodlatte. Congressman, thank you for joining us this morning. You just heard the attorney general there. He insists the laws are being enforced. He's pushing the president's proposal for that almost $4 billion in emergency assistance. You called that a slap in the face to American taxpayers. Is the House prepared to pass any emergency funding? Yes, we should do targeted appropriations where it's needed to make sure that we are able to detain people and send them back to their countries. Uh, but there is an awful lot that the president can do right now uh, without any action on the part of the Congress. Uh, he should, first of all, make it very clear that people who illegally enter the United States are going to be sent home. He's done that, Secondly, hasn't he? he should not only go to, to the... What's that? Hasn't he done well, that? Well, if you watched his uh, interview... If you watch his interview uh, from uh, his uh, press conference from Texas last week, uh, you would be hard-pressed to get that message uh, that uh, this president is going to send people home who entered the United States illegally. Uh, secondly, if uh, uh, he would not only go to the border but continue south and go to Mexico City and meet with the Mexican government, after all, if these children are fleeing a bad situation in their home country, as soon as they arrive in Mexico, uh, they have escaped that situation. So, what's the responsibility of the Mexican government here? Well, first of all, they should be securing their southern border with Guatemala. But in addition, they should be working with the United States, and the president should insist that they do that and do the same thing with the Central American countries. This matter can be addressed if the president will exercise leadership and stop not enforcing the law. He doesn't enforce the law. He uses the concept of prosecutorial discretion, which is intended for that limited exceptional case to apply to hundreds of thousands of people right now. He's releasing criminal aliens uh, back onto our streets that have been detained rather than making sure that they get sent back uh, to their home countries. So, but and that's what you're calling for the president to, make sure to, to that do. Our, if the president does all that, are you prepared to pass this funding and can a compromise be reached to address what is really becoming an emergency situation? I would definitely pass emergency funding targeted for what's necessary, but most of the money that the president's asking for is to continue the process of further transporting uh, these uh, children and adults, by the way, further into the United States. And that, I think, is what the American people don't like to see because they know that that is not deterrence and that will result in even more people coming into the country. What the projection the for next year is 150,000 unaccompanied minors. It's already uh, projected to be 90,000 for the rest of this year. One of the other things you see coming out of this are more and more calls for the president to be impeached. Sarah Pranlin, most prominently uh, this week. Any articles of impeachment will be drawn up by your committee. Is this something you're considering, or do you agree with Speaker Boehner, who says it's off the table? Uh, we are not uh, uh, working on or drawing up articles of impeachment. The Constitution is very clear as to what constitutes grounds for impeachment of the President of the United States. He has not committed the kind of criminal acts uh, that call for that. On the other hand, uh, we do believe that the president is not enforcing the law, and uh, there's a wide array of issues, not just immigration, where we believe that. And that's why the Speaker and uh, many of us in the Congress are getting ready to uh, take legal action to stand up for the people's right, for their elected representatives to be the uh, part of our government that passes laws, not a president with his pen and his cell phone. Mr. Chairman, thanks very much for your time this morning.